morning, neighborhood community. Good morning. First off, I'd like to say thank you to everybody for all your concern. Um, I'm hanging in there. I wanted to let everybody know um, a little bit of what's going on. Um, yes, my depression is really bad. My bipolar is really bad. I'm in a very bad depressed state. Um, part of what's put me there is I'm having some medical issues right now. You okay, Freckles? You okay, big guy? <laughs> um, part of what's put me there is I'm having some medical issues right now and we're having problems with getting them addressed. Um, I have an appointment with my foot doctor again. Um, as most of you know, I've had two surgeries on both my feet and um, for, I don't know exactly, I don't remember what they're called, um, some sort of fibromas that grow on the bottom of my feet. Um, and Is it called planters fibromas? No, they're not planters right, well. fasciitis, it's something else. Uh -huh. but, but it's fibrous tumors basically. Yeah, and they're very painful and I have to get shots in them or I have to have surgery to have them removed. And right now I have four in one foot and three in the other foot. So doing a lot of walking around hurts. And then I have some other issues that are a little more personal and I'd rather not go into. Um, but you were supposed to get a CAT scan for right. it. Right. I was supposed to get a CAT scan for it. It was scheduled, but then I came down with the flu. Right. And we, um, we don't have the money to pay the co -payment. Right. To top it all off, the copay is... $200. $205. And we have to try and come up with that money. So, all between with everything that's going on, someone had suggested having Kirsty take me over to the ranch to be with the horses because that cheers me up. It's not just me being in a depression, it's me not being able to walk because of my feet and because of the other issues that are going on. I have a hard time breathing right now and there's just a lot going on. So. But at least I got her on the camera because I think you guys thought I might have killed her and hid her in the house somewhere because you haven't seen her in three or four days. She's still alive. See? See? <laughs> she didn't think that was funny. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm trying. Um, I'm sorry. Very, very sorry about shout outs, guys. Um, and not responding to comments. I've just been trying to sleep a lot um, so I don't feel the pains that I'm in. Um, but we'll get to them as soon as we can. And also, there's a couple of things with the new YouTube uh, regulations, I guess is the best way to say it, that they're passing. And um, we need more subscribers on our PIN channel. So if anybody that follows us on this channel that is not subscribed to our paranormal channel, the PIN channel, please, please, please go over and subscribe on that channel. And share that channel with you, all of your friends and family and have them subscribe because we do not want that channel to be shut down. And YouTube is shutting people down that have less than a thousand subscribers and we need subscribers on that channel and um, we want to try and help as many small youtubers as we possibly can one channel that we are trying to help is my uploaded life any of you that are not subscribed to them um, please subscribe and go watch <coughs> their videos they need help on reaching their watch time limits um, they have enough subscribers, um, but they could always use more. 
but they definitely need help on reaching their watch time limits. Our so. watch time on the PIN is good. Yeah, our watch time limits are good, but we need, we need subscribers, subscribers on the PIN channel. So, and we'll, you know, we'll, we subscribe to whoever subscribes to us. In the right, day, so. and um, yeah. we try, you know, we try and help out all the small YouTubers. We'd hate to see anybody be shut down, so... Anybody who needs help out there, please let us know. We're yeah. more than yeah. happy to give you guys shout outs and yeah. try and get people to subscribe and and help you out in any way we can. All right, so before I go over to uh, Dave's birthday, I want to put a coat of polyurethane on the top of this. It should only take a few minutes. It looks really light right now, but it'll dark it up when I put the poly on. Uh, I got out. Um, my good purdy china bristle brush uh, and a can of clear semi-gloss uh, polyurethane now problems with this stuff of course is I haven't used uh, polyurethane in a very very long time so this can is probably 20 years old so is the brush so I am not sure how well this is going to go but we'll give it a try take a second coat I could already tell I'll show you uh, it, the wood is so dry that it really soaked it in you could see the the uh, dull spots where the the poly just soaked right into the wood so there's nothing I can do about that now what I'm going to need to do is let it dry I will sand it with a 400 grit sandpaper and put a second coat on and look pretty nice but you see the color came out looks pretty good except for the stains but uh, I'm just, I just need a flat writing surface. So everything else seems to be working out pretty good on this. So I'm not unhappy. So the last thing I need to do is to, is to clean my brush. It's always the biggest issue. Expensive paintbrush, I want to make sure that I, uh, I hold on to it. So I need to get some mineral spirits, soak that for a while. And I'm going to see if I can get this cap back on the polyurethane so I can get at least one more use out of the can. can did not want to open. time that I've actually felt like coloring. So. Good. Yeah, but now I have a headache. Oh. But I still feel like coloring and I'm trying to decide what to color because I have too many to choose from. And you want me to make a decision for you? Mm-hmm. Do you have any more sexy women? Oh yeah, that book's over there. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Those are my grim fairy tales. Okay. I have my grim fairy tale books. <laughs> so I just got back from Dave's birthday. He just turned 50. He's a youngster. He's a youngster, yeah. And uh, I didn't videotape over there. He had his whole family. I brought the camera, so I took some photographs. So maybe I'll put a couple of those up. I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. But... Um, yeah, so a little bit of work in the garage and uh, um, finally getting Val in, back into the video. And of course, Angel's all excited here, ready to go. Right, Angel? You ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, yeah, she's ready. She's staring at me like, come on. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I did the baby. Oh. 
We're going to go ahead and call it an evening. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you have, please give us a thumbs up, give us a favorite, leave us a comment down below. Share our video with your family and friends, but most of all,